yeah so we we will discuss today about odp extract checker so what is the odp extract checker so odp extract checker is a program okay where uh, we can check the data okay we test the data before extract into the bw bw4 hana systems so earlier it was used rsa3 okay so you can say a replacement uh, of rsa3 it is not exact replacement you can also use rsa3 to checker as a checker extract checkers okay but you will also use odp extractor as well okay so let's here see how we can use to check the data in odp enable data in s4 hana system so let's move into the uh, system so this is we have a systems okay now we are logging into the s4 system so this is the S4 system. We are going to log in into S4 system. Yeah. So you can see this is the S4 system. So as I told earlier, okay, like data we extract from S4 HANA to BW4 HANA, right? So let's. I will show you basically. Uh, how we can check so earlier it was used okay. rsa3 rsa3 you use to extract the data okay okay check the data let's see we have a data source to ls11 we have a vahdr so let's execute it so before you can pull the data into bw system okay you can check here in s4 so you can see okay. rsa3 you can check the data six records are available you can check okay. the data you can see we can check the data so this is the older okay this is we can say a earlier version or a classic pw version we used to check the data okay that is called extract checkers okay using rsa3 okay so now we will use a, another program for odp checker okay check sc38 okay there is a program so you can see there is a program called R O D P S underscore R E P L underscore test. So this is the program where you can use to check ODP enable data source checker. Okay, so let's execute this program. You can see now you can see. Okay, you can see extract data. Okay, so you can see here general setting. There is a ODP context. So you can see multiple data sources. You can check here either CDS views. Okay, SAP Business Warehouse, HANA Information Views, ODP Interpersonal, Random Data or Data Source Extractor. So here we will check Data Source Extractor. So select this option. Now you have to put the name of the extractor here. Okay, ODP Enable Extractor. So let's see, I'm giving to LIS 11 underscore VA. So put it here, the name of the extractor. Uh, uh, the extractor name, the same extractor which we used in RSA3, that same name we can give here, right? Yes, right. So RSA3 used earlier BW uh, system. Okay, now in BW4 HANA or S4 HANA, that is ODP enable. Okay, we have okay. to use uh, this program, which we have just uh, uh, known, this program basically used to check. So this is a similar Okay, or you can say replace replacement of RSA3. Okay. okay, earlier it was used RSA3, but okay, RSA3 is not used mostly in ODP enable. Okay, so that's why we okay. have a new concept here. ODP enable, we have a new program called ODP. Okay, so under this, we okay. have to check it using this program. So let's okay check it. Now you have to check here. A, data source extractor now you have to give the name of extractor that is standard extractor that is a 2 lis underscore 11 underscore vhdr okay now you can see here what kind of extracted data you want to see either full data delta data or previous data so you can check full data okay let's select and execute it now you can see whatever the data okay on this extractor you will see all there is a six record all record will be seen here okay okay similarly you can see a last delta okay let's see in the real time 
some user is corresponding to check uh, update the records okay create delete or modify the tables data or transactions happening okay so you can check the last delta if any changes done on the last record you can see you execute it you will see there is no last changes happen because this is a dummy system right idea system yes. no one no one in business have changed the right data right so no one is there here the thing is uh, any delta records similarly if you can see a recovery of previous okay sometimes you want to recover the previous delta you can see here so there is no previous data currently so you can't see here right now okay but in the real time okay there is an option you can use to retrieve your previous delta similarly we have you can see here selection projections or options are there okay you are setting some odk parallel education cellular how basically do you want the setting even outputs are given like lb classics without data transfer what kind of output how data you look like you want to look in this extractor okay checkers so you can select the option and how many records are you can uh, like a limit you can thousand five thousand one lakhs whatever the you want you can maximum number of display record you can put it here so by default that is a thousand here okay so this is the we have a checkers okay but let's see if you execute here there is no previous okay but if someone has changed okay let's see i'll tell you okay let's see that now it is a full okay now we can check the full records okay so let's if someone have changes okay any uh so how the data is going to reflect as a delta so that's i'm going to show you so there is a program called va02 so va02 is a e code to change your uh, data okay you can uh, make, make a transactions okay so let's here va02 So let's go V A yeah. So you can see here. Okay. Now let's see. I have I have an order one. Okay. Document number one. Okay. I'm going to change something here. Yeah. You can see this is the order number or document number one. Okay. What I am going to delivery uh, blocks. Okay. I'm going to change some delivery block. Okay. Or you can do one thing. or you can change here sales office or let's see sales group there is a blank okay now i am putting some some sales group here okay i have changes 001 okay and save it sales group okay save this one okay now it changes now you can run this now you can see there is delta will come or not you can check see still it is not showing okay but if you run this full you will see here let's check full see you have some changes right uh, like uh, we did some changes let me check that one okay one second so there is an i guess this one let me check this i need to check that uh, because we don't have a much access to any changes on that so i would like to check it what are the basically we did it right so there is some settings here but it is not displaying here we can check that uh, particular let's see lps or something is there let me check it here yeah it is there okay lips let me check once again here go to this transactions okay let me delivery block let's see i am going to change some credit limit so we'll save it what is showing now credit limit let me check it here let me check here and scl11 there is a code scl11 vbap vbap is a table okay 
here you can check the records basically okay so let's see a document number one okay you can check it here okay so let's here you have a group right we have did changes the group so you can check here sales group sales group yeah we have a one entry yeah, sales group yeah, we have a one changes, right? You can see here. So you can check the technical name of this sales group. What is your technical name? How you can check? You change the here. See the yeah. So this is the technical name. Okay. V V R T. Okay. Similarly, you can come here and change that uh, technical name. You can you can put it here. V K V vkgrp underscore a n a yeah so oh there is not no any kind of object okay so might be this is a some okay so let's check another way so we'll check some then other one like delivery okay so what what let i'll check another one like uh, okay Field delivery block. I am checking. Okay, let me check delivery block. Okay, so choose here delivery block. Delivery block. Oh, there is no that objects. Oh, yeah, it is there. Yeah, delivery. Delivery group is there, block is there. Yeah. There is a right, there is a delivery block. Delivery block. Oh, saying it is not there. Let's check once more. Yeah. Delivery, there is a delivery block. Blink block, we have a where is a delivery block? Let me check here transactions. Okay, so let's check here. Yeah, we have a even we have a blink. Yeah, we have a, we have a calculations. Let's check blink block. What is happening when we have a blink uh, blink block? We have it. Let's check any changes is happening here. Uh, blink block. Uh, it is not happening anything or changing because it's a dummy system, right? So it is not exactly. Any it's going to change it, but delivery block should be changes. Let me check one more time. Oh. Okay, delivery block. Okay, so let me. It should be there here. Delivery block. It's not there. Delivery. Delivery group is there, but there is not a delivery block. Let's check with delivery block. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, not sure that is there or not. Delivery status is there. Delivery block is not there. Delivery status. Okay, so no issues. So okay. what I would what to, I would like to show you here, basically, anything is happening here. Any changes is happening. Let's see. I'm going to change something here. So how delta record basically works. Okay, and how okay. to basically because the system it is not uh, capturing the delta here. So let's save it. Wow, okay. okay. Let me save once more here, and now I'm going to check it here. Now any delta is extracting or not? Still it is not picking. Okay, so might be some reason. Okay, so if any, so automatically if you change anything, right? So if you're going to change, so that is going to reflect here. Okay. Yes. So he, okay, so so here it is not picking due to some like system issues. But if it is, so what I would like to show you here, any changes happening, so it will come under delta extraction here. Okay, uh, but uh, I have one doubt actually. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that whatever data we have changed in the transaction, mm -hmm. if that data is not present as a field in the extractor, it, it will be reflected. 
that field so, is present in extractor or not yeah that you need to check it okay see what are the field available you have to check it that but by default that is available see that is how you can check it is it. available right yes yes by default is available but how you can check it see i'll show you there is a okay already i discussed in an earlier session okay let's see there is a code rsa5 or rsa6 ah, okay okay let's yeah, yeah, yeah. you okay, so you can see here so how you can see yes, or, yes. or you can go rs a2 is a t code okay, okay. you can see who ah, the data ah, source ah. and you can check here see what are the ah, okay, okay. see there is a list of so there is 33 what is the little block yeah, yeah, that delivery, delivery, delivery block is not available here. I guess since 33 fields are there, very limited fields are there. See, that, that oh. delivery block is not available here. That's why it is not coming, right? See, I'll show you. Delivery block is not there because see what delivery block is. Let me I'll show you. Delivery block, right? This is a BB, it is BB saying something. Okay, so the technical name, let me I'll show you. Ah. Uh, delivery block technical name let me go into field name yes so delivery block this one or which one let me a delivery block or you can have a billing block something okay okay so okay so that's the reason it is not so that the field is not available might be the reason okay see let's say i'm talking about this field Okay, B B A K. Ah, okay. That field is not available here. In this, in this, you can see. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's the reason it is not available. Okay, that's why it is not coming here. But no worries. Okay, okay, okay. In the real time, you will see. Okay, so. Okay, okay. Okay, so so this is the way. Okay, so you can have okay. a full full data extraction if you click here. So you will see the okay. data, full data. Okay. So similar okay, okay. similar way you can go into the ODQ mode. ODQ mode is a T code. Okay, ODQ. 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 Okay, ODQ M O N mode. Okay, here you can see the whatever the delta. Okay, you, data you have it. You will see here. Let's see two LIS underscore eleven BBA. Okay, so let's yeah you can see here data is reflecting here. Even you can see. You can just choose the change the layout. Okay, what I want, I don't want a Q. So you can see this is the data Q name. Okay, so okay. if you select here, you can go to subscription here. You can just all you will see test subscription. See, this is a test subscription. We are testing the data. This is for test. Okay, yeah. if you double click here, you will see this is the we have a full data. Okay, till now. We display only full data, right? You can just double click yes. here. You can just double click. You will see six records are there, right? You can see. Yes. Okay. Earlier, I have tested here six record, right? You can you can see. So that's you can validate. So you can see okay. six, six records are available here. Similarly, same full re, full entry would be here. Okay. If in case delta, okay. If in if in case any delta would be there, so delta record would be here. So there is no any delta. There is no any changes is happening. Okay, that's why it is not any request here is coming. But I will show you for other one. Okay, I am going to okay. create some other data sources, custom data source. This is a standard data sources, right? Similarly, yes. we will go for generic data sources. So let me I'll tell you how to create generic data sources. So RSO2 is a T code to create a generic data source. So I am going to create a generic data. So ZDS underscore G E. Okay, that is generic. Okay, I'm going to create that is G E. You can say T R trans. Okay, I am creating this is the data source. I have I'm going to create it generic. Okay, so put it here SD. Okay, now you can put it here uh, custom custom data source. Custom data source now. Okay, I have put here one 
we have a J tab. Tab is a table, okay. Already I have generated, okay. So you can even check it here. Go to SC11 and check it here. J tab. This is a custom tables, okay. If you display here data, you will see the record number of records. Yeah, we have 11 records. We have it, okay. See, 11 records. We have it, okay. Now you can see save this one. Okay, so I am going to save under this package. Save this. Save. Okay, now I am checking here VVLN and ER date. Okay, so now you can see there is a no delta update. Okay, so after saving, we will enable the delta updates. Okay, so this is a generic extractor we are creating. So once save it. So wait a minute, it's taking time to save it. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, I was on mute. Okay, nice. Okay, so let me check. Uh, it's taking time to save this. So once save it, and yeah it is successfully generated okay now i am going to generic data maintenance click generic okay and how i am going to numeric pointer you can select here and click vvln as a field for numeric pointer okay and click save it now you can save it okay now you can see you can save again okay now you can see your data source is delta enabled See now, if any changes okay. now any changes happening in your table, okay, so that is enabled. Delta can capture now, so you can okay. check. So now you can check here. I am giving here extract checker that is program. Okay, I am giving here and just execute. See, it is saying there is no. Okay, what is saying here? Let me see. This is a full record, right? So let me yes. execute. Why it is giving error? See, not release or not authorize. Why? Because the data source is not a ODP enable, right? This is not. Oh, a ODP, okay, okay. Right. So you have to make it ODP enable. How you can do it? Go to SC thirty eight. Okay, go to SC thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yeah, thirty eight. There is a program. Okay, to okay. make it. Okay, so let's the program no name is let me. Okay, the program name is that one RDS. Okay, expose. okay, okay. Execute this, put it here that data source. Yes, and click release. Okay, so, okay. Now, yes, yeah, yeah. Now you can check this data source under SCL11. There is a table, okay. There is an RSA table is there, okay. RS this at TTR is a table. Where you can check the data okay. source if available, then that would be ODP enable. See, let's check this. Data. Yeah, yeah. It is available or not? Yeah. See, one entry are there. That means now your data source is ODP enable. Now you can use to execute. So still it is not available. Let me come back. Okay. Now you can just still it is showing. It is not available. Let me, but we have done yeah, it yeah. right. So do one thing. I have to generate once more, once again. Or you can check RSS six. Go to RSS huh. six and check if the data source available or not. Yeah, it is available. That means, see, that is available. It should be there. Let me try one more time. This is the data source, right? So it should be there. Now you can check data. Still, it is saving.
simulate source not found it's saying it is not authorized but it is already we have seen right we have already seen that is already when we have let's check it here See, it is not working here, but let's see RS3. RS3 should work. Let me check it here. RS3. The data source name is. The data source. Yeah, this is the data source. Yeah, you can see here it is working, right? So it should yes, work. Yes. Yeah, so here should work. So might be some reason, okay? But uh, let's see here. Uh, let's check. Uh, let's check. This is a extractor, right? Okay, so why it is not working? It should work. See, it is saying it is not authorized something. Okay, so let me try one more time. Okay, so do one thing. I have uh, another data already. I have created this one last day. Okay. okay, I will check this one. Okay, so this is yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. So this is test yes. that is working. This is working. Okay, so I okay. have uh, another another data source. This is the data source. JDS tab test. Okay, I have already okay. already I have created this one and let I'll check the delta. Let's check delta. Any delta record are there? Yeah, yeah. So let's check here. Yes. Yeah, we have yes, a two we records. Can. We have a two records yes. here, right? Okay. So let's I'm going to change it. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to one more record. So that data is reflecting or not. See, this is a table. Okay. I'm going to change one more record. Okay. Let's see. We have a eleven records. I'm going to add here one zero one two. Okay. So that delta record should capture there. Okay. So let me hear the date. The date I'm capturing here, 3 December, let's see some value and some INR. Save it. You're not given the currency. Huh? Yeah. Save it, come back. Yeah. You can see I have added here. Okay. Now you yes. can check. Now you can check the delta is coming here or not. Just run this. See, capturing, right? Yes. See, this is capturing. Yeah, yeah. So, so here capturing it is working. So similarly, you have to go into RSA mode. Okay, I need to okay. check there. Okay, there even are uh, working or not. So let's see. I'm going to ODQ mode. O O ODQ mode. Yeah. So you can give here data source name that is test this data source execute see now you can see this data or you can just change the layout if you something is not here you can see open thing. go to change layout q okay. name and you can see now you can see this is how we have a data source okay now go to the subscribe here see this is a test so whatever that did is a test basically we ODP extractor, we are testing data is coming or not, right? So that should yes. reflect in ODQ mode. Okay. So I'm not going to pull the data in BW for HANA. Okay. Just I'm going to show you if in case any delta changes, okay, how you can check in RSA3. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or ODQ extractor. Okay. Or okay. how it is reflecting in ODQ mode. Okay. So this is you okay. can see the you can see the latest request uh, record is there. You can see ODQ. There is a delta. Okay, see now. Okay, double click on this. See one one record is changes here. You can see. Okay, the table name. You can see ODQ data. If you double click this, you will see the data. See document number which changes right. See one zero one two. Got it. See this is the, how we are going to basically do it. Got it uh, here. See, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, hello. Yeah, you can see here how the data basically reflecting. Okay, how that you can see. Similarly, I am going to change one more record here. Okay. Similarly, I would like to show you. 
let's see this is the table okay so one second yeah so let's i am going to one more record okay so here i am going to one more record 1013 one, okay I, I have created one more record okay the date i am given for today the date okay value i am giving 73 okay and usd okay i am going to save this one so see here i have created a 1013 document okay so you can uh, pull through this extractor last delta so you can see last delta see yeah. last delta you can see last delta similarly you can monitor here the last delta here you can just refresh see it is just refresh or just come back it will come see another request are there so you double click here see how is it reflecting last delta right yes this yes. is this is the way and there is a one more uh, property is here okay reset property okay one is the property called reset here see reset delta okay okay, okay. If, you, if you click here so all the data delta del, delta data is going to reset all the delta records see all the delta is there okay all is going to vanish okay let's okay okay you. let's i'll click here see reset the Delta description, subscription, click here. See, you can see there is a no okay. delta. If you, I'll show you. Okay. So okay. See. So see, all are the full. Okay, there is no delta. Okay, so you can just refresh here. See, all delta is, there is no any delta. See, all is just refresh here. It is not refresh now. Yeah, see, so you can see just Q name. So there is a double click, there is no delta available. See, all are going to, see. Yeah. no delta available. See, all are going to vanish. See, okay. so this is this is the how basically we are going to uh, vanish your record. See, see, there is no any uh, delta is available for this. Uh, so this is the how basically even even you can check. Okay, sometimes it is work as a delta. See, now it is all are delta means all full record would be okay. here. So this is see there is no delta records. Got it? See only. Yeah, yeah. Only we have a full. Let's check here full, and you can check this. See all the full. You can see all the document is a full. There is no why because you can check the last delta. Okay. See let's uh, see no last delta because what happened? We have reset the delta, right? Okay. So this yes. is the way. This is the way basically we are going to okay we have basically check the data before extracting into bw system okay, okay. or bw4 system we can check it here so this is a similar of a rsa3 okay or replacement or or you can use if some data source are odp enable you can use rsa3 to check your data before loading into bw system Okay. okay, so this is this is the we have a this is a session for a ODP uh, extract checkers. Okay. Okay.